Coming to you live from another hotel room, on the run from basically every major international law enforcement agency. That's definitely why I've been filming a lot of these things from hotel rooms recently, and not because we are out filming for the main YouTube channel again, which is exciting. And so, you know what else is exciting? The fact that I get to watch... It's the worst segue you've ever heard. You know what else is exciting? The fact that I get to watch the Olympics every single day. I know I'm normally talking about soccer or football or whatever, but today... I've got to talk about somebody else because today we're going to get to the bottom of the meme. Because if I, if I'm correct, basically everybody on the face of the earth has seen a tweet or a picture like this: a picture of a Turkish Olympic air pistol shooter who rocked up with nothing but a pair of glasses. Now, if you're wondering why that is so unique, why that's so interesting, this gives you an idea of what the normal Olympic shooter is is wearing in these events, whether it be the air pistol, the air rifle, whatever they're shooting in, in the Olympics. This is a sport that, of course, over the last five to six days, I have become significantly emotionally invested in, as, as everyone should do with every Olympic sport, right? I knew nothing about this until five days ago, but now I would consider myself an expert, so allow me to enlighten. The guy on the left here, is wearing very specifically made glasses. Now, now, depending on who you're watching in these sorts of events, basically all of them are going to be wearing something that looks like this. And as far as I understand it, it has some, you're able to wear whatever you want on your face. So it has like some sort of targeting thing on the shooting eye, and the other eye is like blo blocked out entirely so that you're really able to focus on exactly where you're shooting. Uh, but then the reason that this went so incredibly viral is obviously that this guy is not doing that. And when I say viral, I mean unbelievably viral. This has 45 and a half million views. And all they said, South Korea sent a fully kitted out player for Olympic shooting. Turkey sent a guy with no specialized lenses, eye cover, or ear protection and got the silver medal. This is the one I saw. 51-year-old Turkish guy with no specialized lenses, eye cover, or ear protection and got the silver medal. Hand in pocket, comfort level. Then this dude was a sniper. And he did win the silver medal in this event. But he didn't do it alone. Because upon further investigation, this was a team event. I would assume his teammate was just actually wearing the glasses. Not the prescription lenses, I mean the actual shooting glasses. You see, the guy's name is Yusef Dikesh, right? And that was the beginning of me jumping down this rabbit hole of who the meme was. The man behind the meme, if you will. And his partner is Seval Eleda Tarhan. And they ended up getting second place in the mixed team 10 meter air pistol event. This is the equivalent of mixed doubles in tennis, but just for the 10 meter air pistol. And this is actually Yusef Dikech's fifth Olympic Games, right? He, he's been at every Olympics since going to Beijing. And he's, as one of the tweets earlier pointed out, freaking 51 years old. And this is the first time that he has ever managed to win a medal. So maybe there maybe there's a trick to this. Maybe just his teammate Seval Elida Tarhan is just absolutely cracked at this, and this guy was just kind of, you know, dare I say there for the memes. I, well, I wouldn't go that far. Because this team is clearly very good. The more you investigate Yusuf Dikesh, you see that in the World Championships in 2023, in the mixed 10-meter air pistol, they actually managed to finish second. So they got the silver medal at the World Championships, and to use Eftikesh's credit in the 25-meter standard pistol and centerfire pistol at the 2014 World Championships, he won the gold in, in both. But in every Olympic game, since they apparently don't have a 25-meter fire pistol event, he has never finished higher than 13th in any particular event. But this is also the first time that he has ever participated in a team event. But there's just something magic about the Olympics. I can't even I can't even encapsulate it, but it's this feeling that you're watching relatively normal people do particularly extraordinary things. Because even though this guy's 51 years old and apparently hasn't discovered the technology that everybody else is using, he's still the second best, you know, mixed team 10 meter air pistol shooter on the face of the earth. And everybody just seemed to embrace his every guy attitude, including Yusef Dikesh himself, because of course he has run into a ton of newfound fame. And according to this tweet, he said, I did not need special equipment. I'm a natural, a natural shooter. That's badass. And let me let you in onto the real treat of this entire investigation into Yusef Dikesh. And that's why he's not kidding. He's a natural shooter. 
After his primary schooling in his village, he completed his secondary education in Kuksum. In 1994, he enrolled in the military school of Gendarmeri in Ankara. After graduation, he became a corporal and entered duty in Mardin. In 1999, he entered the military school at the same place that I definitely mispronounced the first time, and after one year, he graduated to the rank of sergeant. He served one year in Istanbul and then appointed to that uh, in Ankara, the sports club of the Turkish uh, Military Academy. In 2001, he began with sports shooting, and since then, he competes with the military national team as well as the actual national team, obviously. But like, I, don't, I don't know how many people actually have a military background that end up in Olympic shooting events in the first place, but this Yusuf Dikesh guy is actually a sergeant from Turkey who by 2001 had become just a professional shooter because I'm assuming he discovered he was particularly good at it and has now been to five Olympics. And honestly, in shooting, I feel like you can go to as many Olympics as you possibly want. And there's no term limits on how many Olympics Yusuf Dikesh can go to. And now that he's a silver medalist and internet sensation, who's to stop Sergeant Dikesh from continuing his Olympic journeys? But I do have some bad news on, on the back end of this. He is now officially done uh, with the Olympics. He was only signed up to compete in the 10-meter air pistol men's tournament, which he actually he finished 13th in, which up until the team win was literally a tie for his best ever finish. In the 50-meter men's free pistol in London in 2012, he also finished 13th. So the fact that he was finally able to get a medal after those five times at the Olympics is beyond amazing. And, and outside of the fact that he just looks hilarious and badass, I'm genuinely very happy for the guy because that's a lot of hard work in 23 years of being a professional shooter before finally being able to bring home a medal and becoming famous in the process. But all of this, all of this is overlooking potentially the most insane part of the, the, the story of Yusef Dikesh at it, 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 this Olympics. And no, I'm not talking about the fact that I have definitely mispronounced his name the entire time I've been talking about him. I'm talking about the fact that in this picture, I don't know if this is when he's actually pulling the trigger, both of his eyes are open. Now, I don't know if you've ever fired a paintball gun, an airsoft gun, or a real gun, or whatever, but it is, I, I mean, to do it with both eyes open. If you've ever tried to aim anything, sometimes I'm playing a video game, and you close one, like, if you this is impossible. If he is actually shooting it with both eyes open, he's the best shooter on planet Earth. If you can finish 13th competing against a bunch of guys that are wearing this nonsense when you're just rocking up with both eyes open and a pair of prescription lenses from lens crafters, you deserve all of the praise that's coming your way. And as an aside, as somebody that has always watched and loved the Olympics, one of the few sports that seem to never get any hype at all were all of these shooting events. They happen in the morning. They're like the first thing that goes on in all of these Olympic tournaments. And you basically just look up what countries and who you know, won the medals and you just move on with your life. And the fact that we finally are getting not one, but two heroes from the shooting events, two memes, two people that will live long in our memory. That's, that's just great. Now, the only thing left that we need to, to pick up all the slack is something maybe like rhythmic gymnastics and in and, and some of the martial arts events. Those are the, the only things left for us to create heroes out of. And if you're wondering who the other hero was, just give me a second. The other the other one was Kim Ye Ji. She just had the coolest pose of all time and was shooting with one hand in her pocket too and just all of that was particularly neat. She was before even Yusuf hopped up on the scene, but you can tell even, even her particular shooting mask is cooler than the other people's shooting masks, and that does matter. So congratulations to both of them for getting silver medals, and to both of them for becoming massive internet memes, and to Yusuf for being just the biggest badass on the planet in this air pistol competition. I love the Olympics.